Welcome back. We're going to be heading to Belgard Gate here. And I feel the name is a bit too on the nose, you know? But it does border the Empire, so we'll see what we come up against. Made you look... Did you, though? Yes, you did. Two battle chain, cool. Alright, so normal attacks, I feel. Let's have a look what we got, though. Wide Burger Bug. A subspecies of cross melon insect. It has a highly defensive shell. Should be able to destroy them quite quickly because. Obviously, we're going for the team rush. So, what are you? No, oh, no, not, not that. Black burger bug. Subspecies of insect monster that is native to crossbell. Very fierce. No more attacks. Simple enough, wasn't it? Dumplings! Keep an eye out for new enemies. There's enemies all around here. What are you? Damn it. Mickey Mouse. It's got a shell. Metal Beetle. This steel beetle secretes an oil from its joints to move smoothly. I mean, I was going to be like, well, I'll use an art here because it's got a shell, etc. But nearly dead if I do that. So. Not much point, is there? Not much point. A note inside of the treasure chest reads, I already have 99, so you guys take this one. Estelle. God damn it, Estelle. She even beat us to the damn chest. Well, I need you, don't I? Okay, come here. There's gotta be a way to get around behind them. Ebony Drome. Small mollusk monster that uses time art. There's an endless spring of orbital energy within. Fair enough. Resistance is 80 down. Fairly simple. Everything on this road is fairly simple. So far. Ooh, just saw the railway. Railway tracks. The ra ra railway tracks. On railroad in America, don't you know? Yes. Monsters appeared. Oh, well, we're not doing that one then. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye out for these level 35 ones and come back later on, obviously. I mean, you're right behind it. Like, come on. I can't even cheat and grab the chest and go. It's just terrible. Can you close my lid? I don't want a bird to build a nest inside me or something. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, so which way is the right way? I'm gonna guess this way is the wrong way, just on the, the layout. Yeah. Hmm. You're from the city? Do you have my pal Lid? Comes by all the time to watch the trains. Lid. Hmm. Ooh. Does the phrase unlawful search and seizure ring any bells for you? Any cross bells? Look at all these things following me. I could have had a massive chain of attacks then. Not attacks, battles. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. There's a shiny there. Cool. Again, it's like I'm usually looking at the map, so I don't notice the shinies. That's the only issue. Because I've got all the info I want on the map. Someone should EP charge you with theft. <laughs> it's terrible. Terrible. Oh, I was going to read what it was. Rotten Dandy. Parasitic plant that secretes poison. Self destructs when it is dying. Oh, crap. Boom. Makes sense. Makes sense. I'll probably get more of you somewhere down here. Hello. Right into Randy. I got ambushed, technically. What the hell? 
the noise is like, wait, did it run off? Tempt to get ones like these, because it's like, if I can group them up, I'll get more XP, won't I, so... It's all good. Ooh, I, I like the fact we can see the tracks. Okay, this is going to be weird getting this chest. Though I do need to take you out. I mean, I tried to hit it. Just didn't go my way at all. Let's go with Tio. Normal attacks now. I didn't scan it, did I? Or properly look at it anyway. You are welcome, squishy pink thing. Goodbye. Oh, all right, all right. But we're gonna say more. But all right, we're saying bye. Fair enough. Monster egg. Just lying on the ground. Are we there yet? How long is this road? I'm going to take in the bus in future, definitely. I'll get away from you because I want to come back at you. That did not go well. That did not go well at all, did it? Let's, let's try out Randis. Probably won't be good against these things. Salamander looking. It did alright. Flaming Ginu. Like, yeah, the, the fire elements are just nothing on them. Amphibious monster with a fiery body. Those who touch it are set ablaze. Ooh. Wait, how did the fire get on them? That doesn't seem right. That feels like they shouldn't, like, they should be immune to that. Or was it healing them? Can't tell. Can't tell. I turbid through it. Alright then, so, we'll take you out. Should have saved my S-Crafts, really, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Hi. So what are you? You look familiar, which is worrying. Nip Nepenthes G has a diet of insects and at times humans. Yeah, yeah, triggers earthquakes when attacked. That's what was that was why I was like, it looks familiar. All right, so careful now. Very, very much Chrono Downs. Can you think? Holy bullet. Thank you for grouping up. That helps me immensely. Chrono Drive, I feel, is the way here. Just that case of like, I feel like preparing for what's coming. Like, I know how these things work and I'm always scared of them. Always scared of them. Right, so. That is too. Right, so I want to make sure my speed is up. Looking at the stuff, defense is still up again. Would be good on Randy at least. I think I just need to do just a double check on my buffs, etc. Make sure everything's topped back up. So it's like we've got ones coming up. I'm going to lose it on Lloyd. I didn't want to. I was hoping I had enough around so I could keep it top top. Okay, let's go for attacks. So if I go for Salamander, that's probably actually a better idea. Because if I can get burn on them... The burn doesn't count as an attack, does it? That's what I'm hoping for. 
Oh dear. Easy now. Hands where she can see them. Mm hmm. Look at the stun brain. No. No, no, no making the Discord noises now, Sarah. I'm busy. The worms to kill. If I keep attacking the same one, it's only going to do it once, so. I mean, let's go for him. Let's, let's go for him. Okay, he's there now. I mean, yeah, that should still be good, but it'll attack all three, and I don't want that. I only want to attack one. Hmm. I'm still going to attack the others and hope for the best in that regard. Screw it. It's going to be worrying doing that, but... Let's go try and get the... Hmm. Get the defense downs. So it's like, screw it at this point. With how everything's working out at the moment. It's actually going my way, isn't it? Because I'm keeping them... Stunned, etc. So they can't attack me. So it's like, if I just keep them that way... That'll actually be good for me. So if I get the defense down, they should be destroyed quite easily. I need that stun break, really. And that's the way to go. Keep, keep, keep them unable to attack. It's definitely out the way I'm going with it here. Let's go summon Zeet again. I'm doing it on purpose, by the way. <laughs> if you can hear my giggling after I say it, I'm doing that on purpose. Zeit. Just to show you know I do know. Alright. Okay, so stun break. Good, good, good. We're, we're, we're sorted. We're sorted. Ooh. I'm always wary with those things. I think it's understandable that I am. Whether or not that it was overkill, I don't know. But I'm happy I did it. Phew, that was harder than I anticipated. Kind of surprised, to be honest. I patrolled these parts a bunch of times back during my CGF days, but I'd never seen anything that tough before. And I'm actually a bit worried it was roaming around the middle of the highway. That bus stop is right there. It could have put people in danger. Indeed, suspending the service was likely the best course of action. We should contact City Hall to inform them of our success. Sounds like a plan. Lloyd contacted City Hall to inform them that they disposed of the monster on the highway. The bus service will resume immediately. City Hall were like, what monster on the highway? Buses travelling on West Crossbell Highway are up and running again. It's like, but, I mean, but, but. Well, turns out it wasn't Sarah. Was Daystar. Monsters appeared, and there's a fishing spot as well. Well, oh, Stragus. I get it, Fish Prince, of course, Fish Prince. Alright. Had I known there was such a perfect fishing spot so close to the Academy, I might not have ever graduated. Will I have the bait? Dumplings! Sorry. Come on, Lloyd. Get this fish, we can get out of here. Lloyd? <sighs> what? Sorry. We're just not any fish here? I really need to see about getting some more bait when we go around to the Fisherman's Guild. <sighs> Nothing is biting, fair enough. So you get, didn't get rid of my dumplings. That's something at least. But I want to go up to the gate, but there's chests down here, and I want to get the chests. Yeah, 
I missed completely. The true result of the non-aggression pact is not technological exchange, but the spread of talkative treasure chests that previously were only in the burl. Ah, oh, now we know the truth, don't we? Disappointed with the chest contents, you close it. One could call this an open and shut case. No, we will not. Yeah, Ooh, can't go inside yet? CPA, Crossbell Police Academy. Oh, didn't expect a scene. The police academy is just beyond this road. I believe Lloyd enrolled at this academy to earn his detective license. I've heard it is fully fitted with a plethora of training equipment. Yeah, not only that, but it also functions as a joint training facility for the CPD and CGF. There's a long winding path through the forest, along with various training grounds just past the gate. Actually, I've never made the trip on foot before. You haven't? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I used to catch the train at the station that would take me directly to the academy. And I trapped myself in the dorms for the following months after. I had no choice but to spend my entire time studying for the detective exam. I even had to give up my holidays. I never realized it was that difficult. You're yanking my chain, right, Lloyd? That's no way for a guy to live. You gotta ditch the textbooks during the weekend, my man. A better time to experience the nightlife at its fullest. I believe those crude standards apply only to a certain red-headed man. <laughs> I'd kept telling myself I couldn't return to Crossbell City until I'd passed the exam and earned my license. And the more I think back on it, the more childish it sounds. Yeah, it does a little bit. It's a blue thing! Blue thing! What's the blue thing? Looks like one of the tomatoes. And bitter to Tomorrow, Let me get around to Lloyd. There we go. Hunter monster that is in tiny bitter. Twitching it makes your body numb. Okay, so we go to sleep basically. Let's unleash. There we go. Was I was trying to get here, by the way, this shiny. Ooh, isn't that lovely? Right, let's head off to the actual border with the Empire now. Do, 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 do. I, I love, I love, I love I can see the train track. There's just something about it. I don't know what, it just is. I'm on the highway to Belgard. I'm on the highway to Belgard. Highway to Bel. I'm not. I'm not justifying that one. No, no. I refuse. I refuse. You. For a detective, you sure do return to the scene of the crime a lot. I don't know what you mean. What scene of the crime? If you mean the, the bracers coming along and stealing the oral contents, then yes, I completely agree. They have the means and the motive. Belgard Gate. I know, I just said that. Conference room. No, oh, I expected them to say something. Our commander is absent today. Actually, I guess uh, it'd be better to say that uh, he's absent again. Uh, every single day, that guy is preoccupied with entertaining politicians and the like. Huh, some things never change. Day after day, all the commander thinks about is whining and dining with other influential people. That warrant officer Mireille... Not sure. Here to lead us. The unit would have broken up a long time ago. If you weren't aware, Belgard Gate secures Crossbell's border with the Empire. Wait a minute. Randy, is that you? Hey man, it's been a while. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Wasn't expecting you to show up here again, honestly. Well, duty calls. Uh, take it easy, okay? 
Randy, I genuinely didn't think that you were ever going to come back to Belgard Gate. I'll take your time. I'm not going to be the one to kick you out. Somehow you look familiar. It's weird. So, this is one of the Guardian Force's armored cars. Hmm, it's pretty sturdy, isn't it? Though I doubt it would last long against one of the Empire's tanks. Probably not, no. I'm sure they have other things up their sleeve in Crossbell, though, that they could use in future. Maybe? Maybe? Ice cream scoops and the like? I don't know where I got that idea from. State law prohibits Crossbell from having a proper military like other nations. Brass tells us that it is to protect us from potential conflict with the Empire and Republic. That's why we're called a self-defense force and not a legitimate military organization. Don't mistake me, though. We're all elites and follow a harsh training regimen, despite how our organization may look. And it bugs me to no end that all we can do is stick to self-defense and nothing more. Well, we'll see about that. Hmm, this is good stuff. I arrived earlier than I expected, so I decided to kill time with a light meal. I want to get closer to her if I can. There's some seats closer. Randy, you may have crawled back to Belgard Gate, but I won't hand Stella over to you. <laughs> Dude, what are you on about? You were stationed here long before I joined, but you never tried your luck with her? Gah. I've been meticulously clearing away the obstacles standing between us, I'll have you know. <laughs> well, good luck with that, man. Sounds like Randy was on good terms with most of the guardsmen. Indeed. What the more people would be at his throat, given that he was fired for his womanizing ways. When my greatest rival Randy was stationed here, I lost track of how many times he stopped my chances to talk to Stella. Joke's on you. Now that you aren't a part of the CGF, I'll have all the opportunities in the world. I never even flirted with her, though. No oh dear. Well, huh? Is that you, Randy? <laughs> it's been too long. Yo, yeah, how you been, Stella? I've been fine. The rest of you are the special support section, was it? Well, how about you come and eat something for old time's sake? I wanted to find a way to reinvigorate the soldiers, so I decided to hold our very own hot pot contest. But geez, the meat disappeared before I could even lay a finger on it. Manual labor really gets a girl hungry. Why don't you join in our next hot pot contest? I can teach you how to make one if you're interested. Oh, isn't that lovely? Got it. Oh, just hearty hot pots. Fair, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, it's just the way back out. It won't. I'm what you might call a military enthusiast. Soldiers, weaponry, tanks, I can't get enough. Fortunately for me, the CGF is pretty conservative with the large scale drills. Because they don't want to set off any false alarms in the Empire or Republic. Sure is a shame. Man, I guess I can't complain too much. Being able to watch all their combat drills has been pretty great. Still want to be able to see their armored cars and orbital cannons in action someday. So obviously we're gonna rest, because I need to get my health back up, don't I? Anyone else around here? Nope, just the four beds. So what's up here? Ooh. Oh, just more rooms. Wait, Randy? Oh, it isn't very ill. Something like that. How you been? I see you still haven't learned any manners. Besides, I was promoted to warrant officer. Don't address me so casually. <laughs> Is that so? By the way, I'm out of the Guardian Force, so I don't care too much about ranks and all that jazz. But if you insist, I'll address you with the utmost respect, Warrant Officer. Miriel? Miriel? Enough. Just do whatever you want. I don't care anymore. Ah, leaving the CGF hasn't made you change in the slightest. I'm sure you three must have a tough time dealing with a jerk like Randy, right? Kinda. You get used to it. Randy, you know what this room is? The office belongs to His Excellency, the Crossbell Guardian Force Commander. Really? Doesn't look like he's here right now, though. Just where is he? Probably out partying or something. Guy rarely does his job. Usually leaves everything to his subordinates. If that's the case, maybe we should give up on meeting him. Huh? You wanted to meet him? 
Listen, dude, I'd rather not come face to face with my former boss. That'd be way too awkward. You might have a point there. That aside, this room is clearly in extremely poor taste. Imagine the tens of thousands of merit it took to purchase all of these antiques on display. Personally, I am having trouble picturing this as an office in the first place. Let alone the CGF commanders. I bet he got him with all that bribe money he's built up over the years. Man, what a waste. I had that much mirror. I'd be throwing it all over the entertainment district and living it up. I'd treat some babes to a good time and spend all night gambling away at the casino. Perhaps you two are not as different as you might think. Probably true. It's like, I just like the idea that we can just randomly stroll around his office, though. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, just go inside, whatever. Where's this leading? Hello? I was wondering where that chest was. Am I the only one who thinks the name Belgard is just, just a little too on the nose? No, I like the name, actually. It's just like... <laughs> I, I can see bumps over there and I feel like I know what they are. What's on the other side of this ravine? <laughs> sure, it's nothing. Sure, it's nothing. It's fine. Oh, just wondering where else I need to go. I need to still go in there, don't I? Ever since the commander started to skip out on work, Warrant Officer Mireille has been our sort of interim commander. She's a bit unreliable, but can't deny that she has drive. Overall, she's a good superior. Ever since the commander started to skip out on work, Warrant Officer Mireille has been our sort of interim commander. She's a bit unreliable, but I can't deny that she has drive. Overall, she's a good superior. Hmm. Over on that mountainside is the pride of the Erebonian military, the fortress. The Empire's military is immensely strong, so we can't ever let our guard down. Don't want to kill yourself with all the stress that comes with that, though. Don't get me wrong, it's a okay to be serious, but it's what's important to take a breather every once in a while. Something tells me you put a high priority on relaxing instead of seriousness, Randy. I'm starting to hear a strange theme in the background. Very odd. But perhaps you're right. After all, everything has its boiling point. I'll take your advice and have Brood switch out with me later. Serious as a heart attack, that girl. Oh my. Let's think how close they are to the border, though. It's like the border is not that far away. It's like I can see it. I can taste it. I can feel it. I feel like I've been there. It's weird. After passing that measly gate, you'll hit the Eremonian border in a matter of seconds. Yeah, exactly. That's, it's weird how close it is. We don't even have a thick iron door protecting us from the Empire. Just a tiny strip of metal. Honestly, makes me want to laugh. After passing that measly gate, you'll hit the Eremonian border in a matter of seconds. What's the, oh, can I not? Can I not? Wait, that's it? That's your border? Is this? Wow. Wow. Like, that's it. Jeez. Right, is there anything else around? I don't think so. I think I think that's it in terms of everything we've done here. So, let us probably finish this part. And we'll continue on the next part by doing the rounds still. Back over in Crossbell. Because we still need to finish that off, don't we? Where should we start with the rounds? Probably up in the residential district, that seems right to me. So, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.